Hello freaks and geeks and welcome to another ASRC Oval Series Race Weekend and we're back at Pocono Speedway but at the updated scan uh, I don't know what year that this scan is uh, is from um, I honestly I don't know what scan the legacy one is from I do believe that one is back from 2008 2010 probably um, I think this one is maybe I, I honestly don't really know when this one is from um, but definitely different um, I mean to be honest that's one of the things I do like about it is uh, how you can actually see some of the uh, breaking markers but also the tunnel turn is well because of that it's a little bit I, I don't know it's just I'm having difficulty with the tunnel turn again so this might be a difficult race for me we'll just have to go and see um, not really gonna be all that confident in my qualifying but we'll just have to see what um, see how we uh, see how we're qualifying uh, laps go. It's a horrible word one. Okay, at least that wasn't as bad. Alright, well, one more to go. Hopefully we can make this lap worthwhile. Still not bad off of our best, but we still need to do a bit better. Uh, ran too wide. That wasn't, um, that wasn't good at all. Could have definitely done better if we would have done our best lap time, uh, well, to be honest, we would have done our best, we wouldn't have had, actually went up a place at all. So, we are where we are, so. I was looking at totally something else. <laughs> Promise I won't be doing that during the race. The 
officials are telling us they won't accept the way you're driving. Your laps won't count until you reset the car and start over. <laughs> Alright. About a minute left. Um, Garrett still has a lap to set. Pretty sure we're going to be starting seventh, though, or or eighth, seven or eighth. Don't know if Streets is on their lap or not, but it doesn't look like it. Alright. Looks like 7th it is. Um, looking at the strategy, um, there is definitely no way that we're able to do a one-stop uh, with the fuel and whatnot, even if we did fuel saving, um, and, I mean, the delta with that, and, I mean, it would just be such a deficit that you would lose a pit stop, uh, with that, but, um, we could either do 18 laps and then 15, or something along those lines, but, yeah, let's, um, let's hope for the best, let's hope for a good strategy, um, uh, 15 laps is in my opinion, a bit early, but what have you. Well, I mean, well, I mean, it's the earliest we can pit, so if we do a 15 and 15, then that's an absolutely the earliest, but strength of field is if we do an 18 15, 39. then we have a couple of laps of ops, Let's offset take opportunity. for 15 18. Still waiting on two cars to grid. <sighs> All right. Waiting on the final car to grid. I'm hoping for a top five finish, but everyone's gridded. There are two additional oh, sets like... of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. Looks like we're not. Um... Looks like we can't not get a top ten. But. One to go, next time by, line up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now, catch the porch five, car. Catch the four, car. Mark, can you leave four point four here last time, too? It's possible. That's, my memory doesn't go back that far. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Alright, let's just be cautious. Also, if you notice why I don't have the relative up is because that was... Good luck, guys. I, I'm... I want it... I want it to be there, but it's just... It's... It's blocking too much. Um, like, I thought... I, You know, I think it's... I have it in such a way where it's not blocking things, and then... It is too much. Uh, I don't know, it's... So I, until I actually have it 100% sorted out, I'm just gonna leave it off. So 50 laps. Get ready, going green. The 
Ice car is in. Green flag, green flag. Alright, I feel like that's a good start. Still there. Go low. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. I'm sorry, I was just riding the wall, so okay. Alright, I had too much speed. Clear outside if you want it. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. Tunnel turn is what I'm absolutely shit at. Well, I'm still in the 8th, so I didn't exactly go anywhere, and I broke way too late. Oh, great. <laughs> Keep on missing my breaking point there, and that causes me to go way too wide. Like, I want to break later, and that's just not how you take that corner.
Leader is running. 53.876. went into the wall with them. Or they didn't hit the wall, but yeah. there. Could have actually probably got him if uh, he didn't run the ride like that.
How much they fucking pull away if I can break too late? I don't know why I subconsciously do that. That was a little bit too much, but I didn't want to speed. Pit box team, ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. The lead is fitting now. I knew I should have put it on lap 15. Oh well.
Alright, yeah, we're pitting so much earlier than other people next time around. Basically, as soon as we're able. How did that happen? That was fine. No damage to report. The car behind is closing on the gap is 1.8 seconds. Yeah, no need to point it out. 
what the fuck? And why did the car all of a sudden became come all loose goosey? I think I'm going to put on lap 30 going on to 31, or maybe 31 going on to 32, I don't know how the math works out. Well, that was a nice battle. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is 
pit in two laps. You're losing on the car in front. The gap is one second. You know what, I'm not going to put on lap 30. Oh no, oh no, no. No damage, car looks clean. Okay, I, uh, I was able to get away from that. I totally spaced on that and didn't break. So, well, don't Go have any. No damage to report. Yeah, apparently we don't have any damage, and we didn't lose that much time to the car behind. You're losing on the car in front. The gap we didn't lose a lot of time in the car ahead, though. Yeah, we actually need to wait a lap. That's a very bad corner, but I uh, don't know. Didn't really know how else to take that. God, hitting in this time. To be honest, we don't really have that much to lose. We just don't really have the pace, so... Ah, it looks like some people are already doing what I'm thinking about doing. The car in front is pitting. Uh, oh, Brandon is already... Okay, I see. So not the car Five, that we're directly fighting, so that's totally fine. Three, two, one. Right here. Get in. in. Make them last the rest of the race.
We just don't have the pace. Looks like something happened to to them. I seen someone to go into the pits, but I wasn't paying that much attention.
We just need stuff like that to happen in front of us. I don't know if that was a part of their strategy or what. Or if something happened to them. They are losing time though to us. Still. I do notice as uh, as your stint goes on, you use more and more fuel per lap, which is something to be kind of concerned about. The leader just did a 54.155. Which you would think would be the opposite, but for some reason I notice a um, the usage going up. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. And this car likes to move on its own. I wonder if it uses more fuel on average because you're going at a lower speed and therefore the more your engine is revving or something along those lines.
got five laps to go. Go sharp. We've got about five laps of fuel left. Shouldn't go a lap down, which is just a little dull in and of itself. Got plenty of fuel in the end. I don't want to say plenty, but you've got two laps to go. Because uh, if we do have a green light checkered right now, he would have to come in for fuel. I'm going to poop there a little bit. Someone actually crashes and uh, and I'm able to get past them on this last lap on this white flag. Because who knows, someone might actually either bend it, crash themselves out, or someone might, since it's a white flag for the leaders, might go for a dive and yeah, get terminally damaged. That's a really wistful thinking though, because this is not exactly official. What flag did I lose? Brandon, sorry I got tight in front of you after I passed you. There's never any good racing with Brandon. What you're talking about? If you bump him, he will tell you that you're the you're a piece of shit and There's you're the, the problem. It's over. Good job, very good job.
Uh, well, that was a disappointment. Um, just didn't really have a face. Uh, I can't really blame anything but myself. Uh, had a poor qualifying. I mean, I didn't really think the strategy was poor. Other people made it work. Um, it was just a matter of fact that um, I just didn't exactly have the pace. Had some good racing though, but once, as soon as my tires went off, that was just, that was it. <laughs> Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Pit box in. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Uh. Well, uh, I don't think that there's really anything to go over, um, really. Guess I could show the results. Um, zero cautions for zero laps. Four lead changes, but I bet most of those was uh, for uh, whenever there were um, pit stops happening. And, um, yeah. Wait. Huh, that's a surprise. Brandon, uh, fourth. But yeah, that was just, uh, it, that was just a poor showing um, on my part. And, well, yeah, that, it was just a poor race. Uh, don't know exactly really what was wrong. Um, I just, I couldn't really understand the track um, and the lines and everything like that. But, yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you, uh, if you did like it, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of this content, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you freaks and geeks in the next video. Bye.